to me it sounded I could I could hear what things could sound like. So I knew there was this sort of glassy kind of um, strangely Perfect moving word. around sort of thing. And, you know, the way the camera moved, the fact that the camera was kind of spinning around, you felt like you're in space. We started talking really early on about the idea that, you know, perhaps music should glide around in this. Music shouldn't sort of, we shouldn't go note to note. It should, everything should feel like it sort of swims around. Why is the music all coming out of the front speakers? Why couldn't the music be all around us? And the whole thing started to take shape. So I then went home having talked all of this stuff in the meeting and then had to sit there and work out how to give him something that made this real and just started playing around really and just threw stuff at the picture and started sending things in, just these really rough ideas and he would respond. And the great thing about Alfonso is he responds with like, oh, that's interesting, that bit there, that's the noise, you stick with that and would see how far that one can go and gradually these cues would evolve and I would take things in and often we'd go in for meetings where he, we, he'd just play records that he liked and kind of like, there's something about the sound of <laughs> the, this trumpet in this, this um, Godspeed you Black Emperor track here it sounds like it's miles away I like that I like the idea that things would sound like they're in different spaces then I'd go home and try and translate that into the film and it just evolved and evolved and evolved and I think we were pretty solidly working on it for eight, nine months in these layers a lot of the cues if you hear the first demo of it the shape of them never really changed hmm. but the detail did and you might do 200 versions, come back to version 2, but with one element of version 200 that made it work. 